hello viewers you're welcome once again to this channel i want to thank you for always visiting this site and i hope all our videos we have uploaded recently have been of great help to you today i want to drop a short video on how to download rainfall data from google earth one of our subscriber requested that i or uh, i upload a video on how i got the data i use for my rainfall i mean the erosivity map that i produce so let's start by launching our browser so you are going to launch your browser and um you are going to type in a link this link i will be dropping it on my site so you can click you can copy or click on it for you to get it to to get into the site directly so here is the link you can see a this is the link to visit the link will only link you to the agi i mean to the google ads google ads you'll be able to download the kml file of the data required so okay now on the link you can see high resolution graded data sets so you you come to this you can see various information and uh, version you have here so you'll be going for the cr uts version 4.05 so just click on google ad interface to tmp pre that is a precipitation temperature precipitation and so on now you are uh, here is an other interface you can see the information here in order to use this interface you will need to have google you are, you need to have install google ad so install google ad on your system if in case you don't have then you can open the file now if you click on this you'll be able to download the kml file of the data you want so you can see now i've finished downloading i can now from this file from this kml file that i've downloaded i can launch into my google ads now you can see the graded you can see the boxes we have various okay so let me just come to my own area now from this box our data contain data for each location or point of like me if i want to walk around karma you can see i have up to one two three four that covers i can just pick a point there so just single click on it and have grid cell of the so you click on you click on it again now you can see informations there you have your temperature you have your precipitation you have vapor you have so we have all these and for these two informations here now if i want to download my precipitation or temperature i can just click on any of these so i have my precipitation i'll just click on it the data okay so I have my half degree cell series of precipitation. You can see the latitude, the longitude, then the version, the CRT 
CRUTSF uh, um, version. And you can see this is the year from 1901 up to 2000, uh, 2020. You can see the information December 2020. So here is what we have. We have 19, this is the month that is you have for 12 months there for year 2000 i mean 1901 one that's january february up till december for 1901 and here are the values for your precipitation then number of observation for them to arrive at this is what you see there so that is that as per that if i want to if i want to go back just click on any five degree cell there and go back to just click a single click will bring up whatever information you want now i've opened that of uh, temp uh, precipitation now i have that of uh, temperature as well in case you want to download your temperature data okay so also we have uh, from 1901 to 2020 so those are the information there so this is how to download your um precipitation data on google earth thanks for watching and don't forget i'm going to drop the link down for you to copy and stay tuned for our next video